Kapla, Captains. Hello, I am your host, Brent Justice. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Just Gaming for Us. This is the game Star Trek Online. Today I am going to play one of the new featured episodes that's in the latest update for Star Trek Online called A House Divided. This update was released on June 30th of 2020. This is a Klingon update. This is, they are calling this, or Cryptic is calling this, the Year of Klingon, where the Klingon faction, KDF faction in Star Trek Online is getting an update. Lots of updates, new Klingon content throughout the year. So part of that has already begun. We have a revamped tutorial to the Star Trek Online KDF faction. You can check out my playthrough of the Klingon Defense Force faction new tutorial on this channel. I've done a playthrough of that already, so you can see what that's like. Um, I will be covering all of a house divided content that is out in Star Trek Online. We have two new featured missions and a new TFO. And I'm going to play all of that, plus some new patrols. Uh, I am going to do that here on my character, Romana. You might not have seen this character unless you are an older viewer of mine or have seen older videos on my channel. This is my primary Klingon character in the Klingon faction. Now, she's technically not a Klingon. She is an Orion. However, this was my very first Klingon faction character that I created in Star Trek Online way back in 2010. So she is a very old character of mine I've had in the game. Uh, she is very updated, level, max level, max gear, that sort of thing. Uh, but I really haven't spent a lot of time on her in the past several years. Mostly on the Federation or Romulan side and Jim Hadar. So I haven't spent as much time on her lately. So I did spend a little bit of time recently uh, just going through her inventory and updating some things and updating her on some other stuff. But she is an engineer. That is the uh, career. She's an engineer. And uh, the ship that I'll be flying for these missions is the Moog Battlecruiser Tier 5U. It is not a Tier 6 ship. However, I would like to get to the Tier 6 version of this ship. There is an updated T6 version of the Moog Battlecruiser. I would like to get it. It's in the Zen store. But I don't have it yet because I don't have enough Zen. So for now, for these missions we're about to be playing, I'm just going to do it all in my Moog Battlecruiser Tier 5U. You will still see that it's quite capable, even though it's not Tier 6. And I will not be playing in Advanced or Elite. I'm just playing in the normal version of the game, the normal difficulty. But you can see that all her gear is updated to Epic, Epic Mark 15. So she's good to go in space. I am using uh, anti-proton weaponry with uh, anti-proton matter conversion stuff and the crystalline entity energy torpedo stuff. I also have another crystalline uh, uh, entity thing called the crystalline absorption matrix so she's kind of got an anti-proton crystalline entity kind of build to her um, on ground she is using the Klingon honor guard set that's pretty much it my kits need to be upgraded probably but eh, I'm not gonna worry about it I think we're good enough to go for these next missions so let's do that I have not played this yet this is the first time I'll be playing these so I have no idea what to expect but the first one I'm going to play today is called The Center Cannot Hold. Again, the new featured episode. Let's get to it. Ja'ula has demanded an audience with the Great Houses, and you are drawn into the darkening conflict. The treacherous Ja'ula has requested to speak before the High Council on uh -oh. Kronos. A little-used Klingon law has restored her house temporarily. And as matriarch of her house, she has the right to speak before the council if she wishes. Whether she leaves the Great Hall alive or in chains remains to be seen. She has much to answer for. As part of the task force assigned to deal with Ja'ula, I have requested your presence during this 
meeting. Should the barbarian make a nuisance of herself, I expect you to do what must be done. Interesting that they're giving her a voice, because she's from the past. She should have no relevance now. A lot has changed. Uh, nanopulse. Interesting. We'll look at that. Nanopulse pistols. Serve the Empire. So we actually need to go to the Great Hall. Is that here? Are we in the right place then? We'd actually... Yeah. So we just need to go to the... Right here. We're here. Here's the Great Hall. Is it not? I'm in the right place. Well, I'm in the Great Hall, but it's... Let's see. Da, 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 da. Uh, go to Kronos to attend Jaula's meeting with the Klingon High Council. I'm on Kronos. So can I just go here and do this? I guess not. Maybe I have to beam back down? Talk to the battle master. Yeah. Maybe I have to beam back up and back down or something? Because that's annoying. Okay, fine. I'm already on Kronos. You think that it should just work while I'm on Kronos. But I might just have to go up and back down. It says go to the... Is that not the Great Hall? Am I in the right place? I am so confused right now. If I'm this confused about starting this mission, you know other people are too. This is crazy. What the heck? What? This is the Great Hall, is it not? It doesn't say to go anywhere else. I don't know. Let's try transwarping from the ground. Yeah, because that's a thing. Uh, you have to go all the way out to sector space to start it. That's dumb. I should be able to start it from on Kronos at the Great Hall. Ugh. What a stupid mechanic. Now I'm in the Great Hall. Which I already was. Attendees are still arriving. Alliance Command would like you to meet with Captain Kagrin of the Kittimer before things begin. He has some diplomatic insight to share with you. This will be a historic day. There will finally be a reckoning for Taula and House Mokai. While I'm surprised that the Chancellor has seen fit to allow Ja'ula to speak, I believe it is only a formality. One way or another, she will face justice today. Do you think she will surrender without a fight? Ha! She is Klingon. She is coming here for a fight. Trust me, surrender is not her goal. If not surrender, what is her goal? Ja'ula was a skilled politician well before she became the matriarch of her house. I think she hopes to sway other great houses to her cause today. Normally, I would consider this a wasted effort, but... You have concerns. Yes. There are many Klingons who hold Ahula's brother Takuma in high esteem. They honor his dreams and his vision, especially where the Federation is concerned. Really? That's Unfortunately, interesting. Unfortunately, because... many Klingons <laughs> see Ja'ula in the same light, and that concerns me. It's Great. so interesting that they honor Takuvma and his vision when I've never heard of him before uh, last year in Star Trek Discovery. He, he never existed before then. Okay. In addition to the Chancellor himself, I would speak to a few house dignitaries before the event begins. Any insight we can gain on their motivations will be valuable. I, uh, I would begin uh, with yeah, House Martok. They are currently neutral, but that may not last. A word from Martok can change the course for many houses. Who else should I speak with? House Duras is as always aligned with Jimpok. They may speak with you on matters the Chancellor will not, however. 
House Collect was once a staunch ally of House Mokai, and many believe they have renewed that alliance. I would see where they stand if you can. Finally, I would speak with the representative from House Mokai. That is an unusual suggestion. Recall the ancient Klingon proverb, keep your friends close and your enemies closer. A car is an arrogant braggart. He might slip up and reveal valuable information to you. Agreed. I will return once I've spoken with those representatives. I was just looking at these uniforms. I like these uniforms. Are these like... What kind of uniforms are these? Alliance uniforms? Some kind of new alliance uniform or something? It's like uh, Klingon and, and Federation together with Romulan? It's very cool looking and I want it. Seriously, I want this costume. Can I get it? What's it called? Because that is pretty darn sweet. Okay, so we got to go speak with uh, everybody. It looks like this is going to be a dialogue heavy mission. Speak quickly or I will acquaint you with the business end of my boot. I would speak with you about the upcoming meeting. What of it? Old Jempak will buff up his chest and make a lot of loud, irritating noises before he tries to put Jaula to the blade. <laughs> Something amusing you. Besides that foolish look on your face? Yes. Something amuses me greatly. Stick around, and you will learn what it is soon enough. You, Jempak, and all the other ligament chewers that fill the hall with noise and flatulence. <laughs> She's this is funny. Tiresome. Go bother someone else, assassin of joy. Well, she's a whole ball of uh, everything. <laughs> Jeez. You there? Not you. You. Yes. Come over here. Waroth, son of Waldon, has a warrior's thirst. Are you here to bring me more blood wine? No, seems like you've had enough. I'll be the judge of that, Globfly. I could drink Kalos himself under the table if I wanted to. What do you want, then, if not to refill my flagon? Your thoughts on today's summit? My first thought is that it's a fine excuse to drink. <clears throat> My second thought is that I need more to drink. There they are. All my thoughts on this so-called summit. I love that they put a belch in there. So Warith, he's my favorite character so far. You picked a fine time to visit Kronos, my friend. Jaula and Chancellor Jempak have everyone on a knife's edge these days, thanks to their clash of wills. As you know, Klingon diplomacy can be quite mm, combative at times. Who knows? Perhaps we will fight at each other's side once again. Well, that would be an honor, General. I hope it doesn't come to that. I would not cling to that hope too tightly. Jim Park is running out of allies, and the Mokai have more friends than he knows about. If it comes to blows, be on your guard. Someone might decide it's time to put their knife in your heart. Where do you stand on the matter? I will do what is right for my family, for my house, and for the Empire. Always. Never doubt that, my friend. Jampak and I have unfinished business, but that will be resolved in good time. I will not see all I have fought for destroyed by this Mokai upstart. For now, for now, Jampak has my support. Okay. We still have more to meet. This is a Duras. I think I'm supposed to come to him last, aren't I? Maybe. Uh, I don't know if it matters. Let's talk to Duras. Come on. I take it you're here to see where my house stands on the Chaula problem. Yes. Chaula is a product of a dead age, chasing the dreams of her martyred brother, seeking the glory of a war long ended. She is a threat to the prosperity of the Empire, and will be dealt wow. with as okay. such. The Chancellor has said similar things on the matter. Yes, 
Well, I do not agree with the Chancellor on all things. He has the best solution for this problem, and he will have the support of my house. If there's nothing else, there are other matters that require my attention. Okay, was there anybody up here? There was somebody up here to talk to. Jimpock, well, we will save him for last, won't we? We have um, House Mokai, of course. Was that it then? So we'll do Mokai and then Jimpock. And what do you want, creature? Have you come to gloat? Or do you have enough wisdom in that ugly skull of yours to seek the favor of House Mokai? I would know what you hope to accomplish here today. We seek what every true Klingon seeks in life. Glory for the house, and glory for the Empire. And today, we will find them. How do you see that happening? Soon, Jaula will arrive. She knows the truth of things. Soon, she will speak truth to power, to say what must be said. And her voice will be heard throughout the Empire. When she is done, all true Klingon warriors will know the truth and do what must be done. Soon there will be justice at last. But for whom? <laughs> we shall find out soon enough. Now be gone. I grow weary of the sound of your voice. Tread lightly, Akar. You are not among allies. A lot of dialogue. Sometimes it's okay, but uh, sometimes it gets a little boring, doesn't it? Speak with Jempok. Come on. Thank you for attending this summit. If we are lucky, it will end quickly and without bloodshed. And if we're unlucky? I will deal with the Mokai traitor and her misbegotten how swiftly and with finality. If there is any part of them that remains Klingon, they will meet their ending with honor as warriors. And if not? If not, they will spend the rest of their days in the frozen depths of the penal colony at Rurapente. At least there they will provide some service to the Empire. I think many would choose death over such a fate. We'll find out soon enough. The Barbarian is due to arrive shortly. Be wary. The woman is treacherous. She may try any number of things to avoid her unpleasant fate. Good advice. Thank you for your time. The time draws near. Return to my position. We will watch the proceedings from here. Okay. Let's see what happens, guys. Um, Jaula is coming. So I do like the new um, facial... Jaula. she's here. Yeah, I'm sorry, but the Discovery Klingons, they just don't look like Klingons. Look at those Klingons, and then look at those Klingons. They're two different things. Very different. Way too different. Sorry, but what a terrible design as far as the Klingons go. The recognizes the leader of House Mokai. Speak! Klingons! Warriors of the Great Houses, in the name of Kalis and of Takuvma, hear me now! You know my name, you know my house, and what it has done for the Empire. And today, I come before you with the truth! The Chancellor of this Great Empire is a coward and a liar! He stole his title! He claimed it after winning a duel to the death with Marta. And yet Martok, the true Chancellor, still lives. But Jim Pak's dishonor doesn't end there. When the Herc returned, he hid from our greatest enemy like a craven Fakiri. Once my brother led the Empire to glory, we had the Federation on their knees. And now, now we build ships with them. These stains on our honor must be cleansed. Let us bring an end to Jempak's reign. You wow. dare to speak of honor here? You, a known traitor to the Empire? The only thing ending today is you, woman. I think not. Patak, death to Jempak. 
just you know, just she just, she just really doesn't like Jumpok at all. I guess we're gonna go to war. If we're gonna fight. Oh, we get to do some battle. That's actually cool. Thank you. I was getting tired of all that dialogue. I wanted to shoot something. We must leave this place. No, I will not go. Okara, Jalichu. There is no shield losing Battle is all but one. Fight on for the Empire. Did we win? I think so. These guys are just chilling. There are things we need to discuss. These guys are just chilling. Look at them. They're like over there, just having fun. So much for diplomacy. I had a feeling that Jaula would attack. I. Admit surprise at the number of allies he had at his side, however. What now? Jim Park will demand swift retribution on Jaula and any house that stood with her today. I suspect my days of neutrality will be coming to an end soon. Understood. Honor to you and your house, General. The Har Master, let's see, we've received a message from Alliance Command. There's been an attack in the Seron system. We've been ordered to investigate and render assistance to allied forces there. Okay, speed up. So we got a little bit of ground battle there. That wasn't too hard or too bad to deal with. I am Captain Kajnar of the Imperial Battle Cruiser Mubwich. It is good to see the face of an ally. What happened here? We were ambushed by Mokai rebels. The filthy Bachtang did not grant us a warrior's death in battle. Instead, they left us adrift in space. To die without honor! Ah, but now you are here. Assist us with repairs that we might hunt those treacherous curs together and send them howling to Grethor! Alright. Good. My crew yearns for glorious combat. Soon there will be great deeds worthy of song. We will fight, and if we die, it will be with honor, and we will drink together in Stovacor! Kapla! Again, a lot of dialogue. It will be a glorious Kapla. Shimpak will put these Mokai rebels down like the rabid targs they are. So we need to repair their ships. Ah, the Mokai return. Show them what it means to be on those are Imperial warships. They have joined forces with the Mokai. The target's shields have failed. Easily dealt with. Very easily dealt with. So, it is true. Warriors from other great houses have joined forces with the Mokai. They dishonor their ancestors with this treachery. The situation has become complicated. Bah! They are traitors without honor and will pay for their treachery with their lives. Quickly. There are other disabled ships. We must bring them back into the fight before the rebels return. Righto. Here we go. 
Gotta repair other ships. Which means, I guess, when Come. we repair them... Come and save these worms! We'll yeah, join them. the enemy's gonna Honor show up. Death. Warning. And Ship I can't repair them in time, can I? Time. I will litter the stars with your voice! Your house, as they say, is about to burn. And we all know who fights in a burning house. Don't be a fool. Hear me now. This doesn't have to end with your death. I'm listening. I speak to you now, warrior to warrior, Klingon to Klingon. We both know Jim Pock is weak and without honor. Fighting for him brings dishonor to your house and your ancestors. I offer you an honorable path. A path that leads to the Empire's return to glory! Will you join me? My loyalty lies with the Empire, Lothwal. Not you, As Lothwal. you wish. You've made your choice. Now face the consequences. Fight well. And die with honor. Glory to the Empire. Warning. Ship is under attack. Target shields have failed. That was a nice battle. I liked that. That was a good space battle right there. Victory is ours! The rebels have been beaten! If only we could have put an end to their leader. You fought well today. Soon we will celebrate and... Ah, we are being hailed by the Chancellor himself! Gabon, you have won a glorious battle today. But the rebels are continuing their raid against Alliance forces. There is more work to be done. Kajnar, you are to travel to the nearest starbase for repairs. I need your ship at full strength. And what of us, Chancellor? You are needed in another system to deal with the rebels. Transmitting coordinates on a secure channel now. Okay, um, warp to the Cedia system. So basically, Jaula is just for, uh, going to war with everybody. Those Starfleet ships won't last much longer against that Mokai force. Let's join the fight before it's too late. A true Klingon does not abandon allies. We are ready to fight. Cool, so now we're like actually helping the Federation. Hey, it's the Enterprise. Very nice. Enterprise F. There. Four shields failing. Let's fire to disable those Starfleet ships. I want to get to the bottom of this. You know, these are Federation ships. Hmm, 
these are Federation ships. Something is amiss. I've heard from the captains of those Starfleet ships that attacked us. It's not good news. It appears the Mokai infected their computer cores with a virus. To mm. their systems, friends became foes. Let's help them clear the virus from their systems and get them back into the fight. I have a feeling we're going to need all the help we can get here. We will beam over digital warfare specialists. Wow, that's new. <laughs> So now the Klingons are fighting with viruses. This is Commander Sunul on Sadea base. We're still clearing the virus from our core systems. We have partial control and should restore full ops soon. Our long range sensors are picking up numerous signals at high warp. House Mokai and Starfleet. Looks like more trouble. That's not the half of it. Those ships are all coming in on the same approach vector. I'd say it's a fair bet those Starfleet ships are under Mokai control. Stay sharp out there. This could be another rough fight. I don't know. Seems like a coward's move. Here they move. come, and they're locked and loaded. Good, agree. Target shields have failed. Four shields failing. Those aren't Mokai ships. Those are rebels from other Call Klingon houses. Below seventy-five percent. They came in hitting hard. And those ships came in hitting real hard. More virus controlled ships. Let's hope we can get the computers on those ships clear before more enemies come in for the kill. Sounds like a coward's move though to use a virus to fight your enemy with. It's not something a Klingon would do. And yet they're fighting with viruses. Yeah, that's weird. We're still trying to get rid of this damn virus. But we have control of most systems, including long-range sensors. We're reading a lot of incoming signals. All Klingon this time. I don't suppose those are Klingon reinforcements you're reading. I doubt it. There's a lot of Mokai warp signatures in the mix. If I were to guess, I'd say all of those ships are hostile. Here come the Mokai! Uh, there we go again. We're losing control. Reading massive system failures. All decks. No, stay back. The mains. They're building toward a break. Savor your victory while you can. The field is yours for now. But as you are about to see, my reach is long indeed. Your house burns bright, fools. 
there's still time to make the right choice and rally to the banner of House Morkai. Choose wisely or die like these fools. Wow. Ah, uh, they Lock blew up the station. Abandon Again, though, using a computer virus. Just doesn't seem likely like that would be possible. These are these computers should be way more advanced than what Jewel is doing. Jewula must have used the virus to remotely trigger a warp core breach. The damage was catastrophic. Looks like a few escape pods were able to eject before the explosion. We'll take care of them. <sighs> There's more. Alliance Command sent orders our way. There's trouble in a Romulan star system. Mokai trouble. They asked for all of us to look into it, but under the circumstances, I think it's best for Enterprise to remain here with the survivors and the other ships. The virus? Yes. Until we can make absolutely sure their computers are virus free, I don't want to risk taking those ships into battle. Each one of them could be rigged to blow, or worse. Go on ahead. We'll catch up as soon as we're able. Now we're going to the terror, terror system. Not too sure about the virus storyline. Not feeling that one for many this reasons. This is Commander Simmons of Republic Space Station R88. Can you hear me? Is the signal getting through? We read you, Commander. Thank you, elements. Please, do something about these Alachi attacking our position. Our defenses are barely holding and our tactical satellites have been destroyed. We won't last much longer without your help. All right, we're on our way. Now the Alachi, they're probably virus controlled too, because why not? Warning, ship is under attack. Target's shields have failed. a disturbing day, friend. First, a vessel older than my grandsire warps in, fires some sort of mystery weapon and warps out. Then, some sort of rift opens up and spews out an Alachi battle fleet, all before breakfast. What is going on here? Is this a new Iconian attack? No, a Klingon revolutionary is behind this. Why would a Klingon rebel care about a Republic outpost? And how are the Alachi involved? That's a long story. For now, we must focus on closing the rift. Very well. It sounds like you have experience with this sort of thing. Do what you need to do. I've got my hands full keeping this base from blowing to bits. Okay, so we've got a rift. Where is the rift? Oh, it's over there. Mycelial rift. Watch out! The lot are coming out of the rift! Whoa, hello. Warning. Ship is under attack. Target's shield has failed. Target those Alachi and fire. Target's shield has failed. It's the Lasset. Looks like we made it here just in time. I think it's time to close that rift. Our sensors are picking up vessels on the other side. Ilachi by the look of these readings. Okay, let's close the rifts. Something's wrong. The rift isn't closing. Ilachi warships on intercept course. They're coming from the rift. Ship is under attack. Reading more Ilachi ships on approach. Get ready to fight. Well, I'm already fighting. Do 
not fire. I am Captain Tarsif of the free Alachi vessel Liberator. We are here to help. Oh, man, the Alachi speaking. Now that's a weird thing. We came as soon as we could. Jaula is creating stronger rifts with her weapon. They are potent and extremely volatile. Your rift closing methods will not work. Fortunately, we Alachi have more expertise with such problems. Okay, if you can close the rift, now's the time. Agreed. The process requires a considerable level of energy. My ship will be vulnerable to attack while we close the rift. Protect us while we work, and we'll do the rest. Hostile Alachi fleet on sensors. Here they come. Okay, I have to protect them. Warning. Ship is under a target. Shields have failed. The Liberator is in position. We're ready to begin the process. Diverting power to defense system. Request covering fire in our position. Target shields have failed. Left shields failing. Four shields failing. Rear shields failing. Hull integrity below 75%. Diverting power to defense system. Request covering fire at our position. Target shield have failed. Four shields failing. Wow, they're pretty tough. The Alachi actually are pretty tough. They got me. I should have called out a support ship a little faster, actually. Did that a little too soon. That one was a little more difficult, but uh, still enjoyable. The rift is closed. Well done, everyone. Captain Tarsif, the Republic owes you its sincere thanks. My compliments to you and your crew. You have our thanks as well. Many among us were once Romulan, Commander Jurok. We are proud to be of service to the Republic. There are more of these rifts in several systems. We will do what we can to close them. I'm afraid Jaula isn't finished with us. I'm receiving a Priority One signal from the Kuvat system. Klingon revolutionaries are attacking a civilian shipyard. Transmitting the coordinates now. We'll join you there as soon as we've stabilized the situation on base station R88. I got another, another problem now in the Kuvat system. So it seems we're just system hopping now. 
to take care of this problem. She's attacking multiple systems. I don't know how she's doing that simultaneously, ah, but... Another warrior arrives to heed the call to battle. Kaban! Jaula and her boot-licking Targspawn have a fleet near the orbital shipyard complex. It is likely they mean to raid it for anything they can steal. Or blow it to pieces to deny its services to the Empire! <laughs> indeed. Enough of this ligament chewing. We are here. Ready to fight. Come, let us show them the price of their dishonor. Uh, it's Jaula. People of Kufat, hear me now. I come to you now as a liberator, not a conqueror. I wish to free you from the tyranny of the false chancellor, Jemphok. Kufat is the birth world of my mother. Stand with me now, and we will find honor and glory together. Some of you may choose to meet me in battle. So be it. I will grant you an honorable death. A warrior's death. The choice is yours. Well, my choice has been made. And here we go again. It's just uh, one system after another. Instructed to give you a chance to surrender, Jaula, that you might face justice. Do you accept? Or is there still a small part of you that remains Klingon? A part that demands to die in battle with honor. If you are truly Klingon, there is but one answer, Jaula. Weak, arrogant, and stupid is no way to go through life, Captain. I will correct your flaws in battle. If you're lucky, you might live to share the lessons with the other fools in your pathetic house. Oh, well, here we go. Warning. Ship is under Rebel attack. forces. Good. Good. The battle is not yet over. Target's shields have failed. Wow, there's a lot of them. I will definitely give them that. There are a lot of them. Target shields have failed. Right shields failing. Rear shields failing. Now we have allies of our own to join us in glorious battle. 
target's shields have failed. It's a pretty big battle, Target very tough. Uh-oh, she's using her weapon. She did something to the planet. Barbarian shows her true colors at last. I will not rest until she pays for this cowardly attack. I swear it! But now is not the time for revenge. Now I must help the people of Kuvat. Be ready. When we find her, the Empire will need the best to take Jaula down. Will you answer the call? It seems I've already been answering the call. All mission here. I, uh, you can count on me. We've been cleared to depart. Ready to leave on your order. Okay, well, that went about as I expected with Jaula. I guess that's the end of the mission. Okay, well, let's report to command. Turn this in and look at our reward. This is a dark day. The poisonous words of Jaula have spread like wildfire throughout the Empire. Many warriors have dishonored their house and sworn allegiance to her. It is the first day of a Klingon civil war. It will not last for long. I will make every Klingon see Jaula for what she truly is. They will turn their backs on the so-called Liberator and her treacherous house. Soon I will place her skull in the Great Hall as a reminder to all. Betray the Empire. Betray me. And you will pay the ultimate price. A traitor's death. Eternity in the halls of Grethor. Forever damned. Forever without honor. I'm glad Jempok is still alive. I like Jempok. Okay, so we have uh, progress toward the daily event, which is the Red Angel suit, I think. And then with the, we have these new dual nanopulse disruptor pistols. So they do disruptor damage. 44.4 disruptor damage, 118 DPS. So, I'm not too big into the pistols, but... Um, we'll Serve the Empire well! We'll go take a look at them on the ground, too. So let's talk about this mission. Um, first of all, very dialogue-heavy mission. I mean, especially at the beginning, but even uh, as you approach each world and do what you have to do there's a lot of dialogue in this mission and sometimes that just gets well rather boring you just want to click through it and get to the action you know what I mean so there was a lot of that dialogue I guess it was necessary though for some reason they're giving Jaula a voice somehow she managed to get a voice and talk to everyone um, but she didn't really want to talk her plan all along was to attack probably um, I mean, her plan is just really not that great. She comes to Kronos, to the Great Hall, and just wants to attack everyone, and then somehow manages to carry out these multiple attacks on multiple systems at once. Seems a little weird to me that she's able to do all that. Um, also, the fact that she can send a virus to computers and infect them. Remember, she's from the past uh, and uh, Discovery era. And uh, she's come into the future, this is the 25th century. Their computers would be way different, much more robust, 
much more advanced. Uh, they'd have new security protocols and so forth. I don't see how she's able to infect them with a virus. Um, also, that's a bit of a coward's move for a Klingon. A Kling, you know, that's not something a Klingon would necessarily do, is send a virus. They want to uh, meet you in battle. They don't want to do it the coward's way, which is a virus. That's something like the Federation would do, or Section 31 would do. That's not the Klingon way. So this whole virus thing, I think it comes, it stems from discovery. And um, it smells of it. I don't like it. Doesn't fit. Also, you can see when Jaula is here in the great house next to the other Klingons, you can see how different that design for Klingons really looks. It is not the Klingon design. It is way different. Um, so, you know, when they came up with that for Discovery, they were just way off base on that design. Um, it's just two different species, really. It's what it looks like. So, yeah, I don't, I don't like that particular design of the Klingons. I like the traditional Klingon look. I think that that's good enough. I think that's all you, that's what you need. So, anyway, I just wanted to point that out. As for this mission itself, it went about as I expected. Jaula came, she talked a little, and then we were fighting. That's pretty much what I expected. So the ground combat was not too hard. That went pretty quick. But the space combat, that one lasted quite a while. We had several systems we had to hop to and then um, do this space battle. And I'll tell you, the one with the Alachi was probably the toughest. Although at the end there, she did throw a lot of Klingons at you. And so it was also very difficult. So this was a more difficult uh, space battle, more complex, but still fun. Uh, just a little, maybe a little too much dialogue, like I said. Um, but then it just ended abruptly. It was like we hopped from system to system and then boom, it's just over. So I don't know, as a mission goes, it kind of felt like a weird mission. Kind of felt like you were playing patrols rather than missions rather than a mission. So that one was weird. Um, but the next one we have is called the Kittimer Discord. So maybe that will be interesting. I have no idea. We'll see what to expect. But let's equip these nano pulse things real quick. I just want to take a look-see at them. So let's see. That's what they look like. Obviously can't fire them in here, but... So they look Discovery era. That's what they look like. Yeah, these are definitely Discovery era weapons looking, or Discovery-esque looking weapons. So I'm not too excited about the looks of them. Just doesn't fit with the Klingon theme too much. But anyway, that's the reward are those weapons. So if you're interested in that, well then you got it. So anyway, that was um, the center cannot hold. If you like what you see here, consider subscribing to my channel and leave a like on the video. Uh, I'm interested to hear your comments about this mission in Star Trek Online. A house divided. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next one. Check out Twitter at Brent underscore justice for updates. You can follow me there. Also check out my Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash Brent justice. This helps support the channel and also allows me to publish more and more videos.